Sends head off the back. Cannonball in the corner. Now it's three on one, guys. Two to the fact. That it was. That's it. Jericho. Kane Love. The winners of this match, the team of Santana. Ortiz and the AEW World Champion, Chris Jericho. As great as the books are, the numbers were just too great in this match, guys. Absolutely. It was a mathematical situation. Right. But now, now the referees, now we need more referees here. We need to get some of the order. Shut your mouth and sit down. At the end of the episode, you saw the five of us beating the hell out of all elite. We proved who we are. The five of us here, we are next. We are now. These are my confidants here, the four closest men to me. 
that I've ever met. And people have been asking me all week, hey, Chris, where the five of you? Are you still going to be aligned? Are you going to work together more? Do you have a name? The answer is yes to all of it. And let me explain who we are and what we're about. Look at this guy right here, Sammy Guevara. Look at him. He looks like a Spanish god. Look how sexy he is. And not only is he a teenage heartthrob, he's one of the greatest performers I've seen at his age in a long time. He's athletic, he's acrobatic, he is simply amazing, and he is on my list. And then look at these two psychos beside me right here, Santana and Ortiz. You might have seen them around, but I'll tell you what, they're dirtier than they've ever been. They're nastier than they've ever been. I personally recruited them to AEW, and they are ready to fight. They're angry. They're pit bulls among pit bulls. They're street fighter back alley brutes, and I like it. And that's why they made my list. Viva la raza. This man right here, this giant behind me. You may think you know who he is, but his real name is Jake Hagar. And yeah, Jake Hagar, he's a former world champion, but more importantly, right here, right now, he is the toughest, most terrified, most crazy MMA fighter in the world today. Okay, hold on. Second, calm down for one second. We the people sucks and it's dead and buried. It was a stupid idea from bad creative and all that's gone. Jake Hagar is the most feared MMA fighter on the planet today, and guess what? He's undefeated, and that's a shoot. That makes him the toughest man in AEW. That makes him the toughest man in the entire professional wrestling business, baby. So he's not afraid to challenge any fighter, wrestler, boxer, MMA guy, former MMA guy, street bum, bare knuckle fighter, you name it. Hager's ready, look at him, he's a giant. These are my closest confidence. These are my friends. This is my inner circle. We are the inner circle, baby. And now oh, look at this. Hager ducks under, Hager the oh, oh, oh. Lariat sends Hangman over the top. Just nothing but raw power, great agility and athleticism by, by Hager. Who can say, oh, 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 oh. Hit that! Take that and chew it up! Hangman just winging a chair in the face of Jake Hager! Hager and now they're fighting up that ramp all the way to the back. Then it's still two on one in the ring. Jericho and Guevara dismantling Dustin. He's been gutting quarter here, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? What's this? Can't see my hand in front of my face. The lights here in the Adena Serena have gone.
MJF just uh, had a moment. An AEW moment for MJF. Oh! Ah! Jericho! Too much celebration. Jericho taking advantage of every single opportunity. When the door is open, he crashes and burns it. Never turn your back on the inner circle, Jim. I mean, it's elementary, right? Today, in the last 20 minutes, I think, <laughs> than he has in his entire life. And of course, we'll see Jericho again later tonight, defending the AEW World Title against Scorpio Sky, who, by the way, is red hot on a six match winning streak. Scorpio Sky, the only man to ever pin Chris Jericho inside an AEW ring. Chicago, sit down and shut up. This is Chris Jericho's Thanksgiving thank you celebration for the champion. And I don't need you idiots messing it up for me. 
because tonight I finally get my thank you, not from people in Chicago that don't matter, but from the AEW executive team and all the brass at the TNT Network. Like I said, this is the best celebration in history, like Soul Train says, the greatest night in television history. As a matter of fact, we're gonna kick it off with a little prize. Look under your chairs. Some of you are gonna get a coupon for 50 cents off the new Chris Jericho Le Champion t-shirt. Look under your chairs. Hey, I got one. I didn't get a damn thing. We're gonna shop at you got one, right now. Yeah, you're a little ugly for a Le Champion t-shirt, but that's fine. That's for me to you, 50 cents off. That comes right out of my pocket, just so you know. Now here's the best news of all. After months of discussion and investigation, we found the greatest tasting grapes ever in the world today on the mountains of Nepal, and we have created for you the official Little Bit of the Bubbly. That's right, it goes on sale right now at littlebitofthebubbly.com. Oh my God. Limited stock only, so buy them quickly before the holidays. That's a fact, Soul Train. Why don't you grab a couple of those? You heard it right, folks. Littlebitofthebubbly.com. That'll probably, that'll probably sell out tonight, Excalibur. Oh. Those, those Nepalese grapes. Giving Soul Train That's a right, bath. me and Soul Train are gonna have a little toast like gentlemen, right? Uh, that's good, that's really good. You wanna take this from me here? Now I wanna introduce to you my best friends in the entire world, here they are, the Inner Circle! Well, Champion has surrounded himself with winners, I can tell you that. The four men that Chris Jericho handpicked to watch his back, Santana and Ortiz, proud and powerful, Sammy Guevara, the self-styled Spanish god, and the undefeated powerhouse, Jake Hager. They make up the inner circle. Isn't this great? So far, greatest night of your lives, right? That guy right there has never kissed a girl. I'd say this is the greatest night of his life for sure. All right! figure. Oh, first off, shut up! Quiet! First off, let me just say thank you. They say... I'm so excited for tonight. We got all these damn gifts for you. But I think there's not gonna be a better gift than the one I'm about to give you. What is it, what is it? Oh, they say a picture's worth a thousand words, but right. I think this one's priceless. Oh, what is it, man? How would you look at that? Yeah, it is faceless, all right. That's amazing! What a great present, thank you, Spanish God. <laughs> Yo, oye, papi! Que pasa, huh? Muy bien, senor! Oh, all right, well, right here, we got your little Boricua gift basket. Right? Hey, hey, you almost forgot, it's winter time. And you know what that means? It's flu season. And here you go, Chris. Me mama, she told me this. 
You put a little bit on your pecho, and by la cama, everything is good. No more cold. Crowd powerful, stopping at their neighborhood bodega. A real set of bodega boys there. It's Papa Dios, Hector Laval! <laughs> That's right, baby. Te amo mucho. It's Jericho, honorary New Yorican. Oh. Yo, yo, got you a uh, pair of chancletas. Right? I'm just saying, these. These double as a weapon. I don't know. A lot of Spanish moms, they, they know what's up. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, you know, you know what this is. You don't know what this is? Little bit of the 40. But tonight, oh. Oh. you just became an official Boricua. Oh. This is not honorary anymore. No mames! Yeah! Wepa! This is pretty much the greatest night of my life so far, but somebody's missing, can speak us by his absence. Where is the big hurt, Jake Hager? Oh, I thought... Where is he? Where is Jake Hager? Oh, hold on a second. Big Hurt, what is that? It's for you. Her name, Chris Jarrett It doesn't look like no hurt of me. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, like I said, look at this. There's a, <laughs> I want to ask you a question, though. There's a big box right here. What's in there? Really? It's a big surprise for me in there? Oh, that's, that's my face right there. It's a big surprise for me? It's the biggest surprise. Let me see what it is. What do you think it is, guys? Abdullah? Top 100 New York Rangers of all time, Ted Irvine. I can't believe you're here! Hey, champion, thank you. It's so great to be back in New York City. <laughs> We're actually uh, in Chicago, Dad. Chicago? The home of the Blackhawks? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey! Quiet down. We got a legend here. Yeah, it's it's, it's the home of the Blackhawks. When I played with the New York Rangers. We beat the Blackhawks all the time. They were brutal, and they still are brutal. Chris, I used to beat the crap out of some guy named Bobby Hull. Ooh, 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 that, those are He's funny a words. complete whip. I don't care what you say, Chicago Blackhawks were and always will be wimps. What do you got in the bag there, Dad? I got some special gifts for the inner circle. Custom-made jerseys from the greatest hockey team in hockey, the New York Rangers. They're 
going to need armored security to get out of this building. <laughs> Even Soul Train gets one? All right, listen. We've had a lot of fun here, haven't we, Chicago, right? Let's get down to the nitty gritty. I have right here an official thank you statement from the AEW executive team and the TNT Network Brass. I'm gonna read it to you now. As a matter of fact, you know, I don't suck. Shut up. As a matter of fact, I don't feel like reading right now. Why don't you come in here and read it? You're, come on, announcer guy. Come on in. You announce stuff. What's your name, kid? Justin Roberts? Where are you from? Actually, right down the road in Arlington Heights. Graduated from Buffalo Grove High School. Ate at the Buffalo every meal. Where'd you graduate? Buffalo Grove High School. Buffalo Grove High School sucks. All right, I want you to read this. It's my official thank you that I so rightly deserve. Dear Chris Jericho, on behalf of Warner Media, TNT, and the entire AEW family, we wanted to take the time and extend our sincerest gratitude and appreciation for all of your contributions and helping AEW become the most talked about wrestling league in the world. Your exemplary service to AEW continues to demonstrate not only the performer, but also the man that Chris Jericho truly is. Not only are you le champion, we are proud that you are our champion. Thank you. That was a nice thank you, but uh, I kind of didn't like your tone while you were reading that. You don't think I deserve a thank you, huh? You don't think I deserve a thank you, Mr. Arlington Heights, Chicago boy? Huh? What? What? Come on! This is uncalled for! A bunch of bullies. Those are the risks you take in a match like this. So many unnatural angles outside of the ring. Where are they going to go next? Uh, I would say to the hospital. Well, yeah. eventually, I, or I, I agree. Or a, or a nearby <laughs> medical center. Well, that's why this is, it's, it's great this is uh, <laughs> Nurses Week and Nurses Day. Oh, because they're going to need some here. Omega. Picking up some plunder of his own. Uh, watch out, slippery when wet. Oh, 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 oh God. Wow. Shattered that shot sign across the spine of Chris Jericho. There's no love in Manitoba. These both, these, oh, there's Matt. 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 He's getting thought that's, out now. That's, I, I think that's Damascus, Damascus emerging from the ice. Damascus has emerged from the ice. With a tope, no. No. no, no, but he's gonna, he's gonna start the golf cart. He's gonna run over somebody, my God. He's going to try to stop the guard. If he can I put it in gear. To, I need you to document these events. <laughs> That's kind of what we're doing, man. That's right. It's called television. Damascus. I believe he's got the golf. He's got it in gear. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Now, somebody it, is going to be taking the hospital if he runs over somebody here. He's hauling ass. Oh, and, oh, oh my God. Jericho think, may have moved just in time. I think he did. He thank may God. have moved just in time, or he may have got clipped. I think Jericho got clipped, but not a full shot. And Sammy Guevara immediately checking on Le Champion. As Damascus and Omega now in the golf cart. And they're heading where, out toward the field. I think okay. Where are they going? 
No, they're pulling a U-turn, and they're chasing down Sammy Guevara. Sammy's running like a scalded dog. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, oh, my, oh my, my God. God. Sammy oh my got God. ran over. Oh, my God. Oh, boy, that did he get creamed. That was a clean shot, and Sammy got clipped. Oh. Man, street fights, anything goes. You don't see many of these, and here's I, 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 I've, I've, I've never seen a street fight with a golf cart. Jericho still reeling. Is that really a golf cart? Well, it's a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For Andre. <laughs> uh, and, well, there like just happened to be a table there. Boogie. And Damascus. As to, into a Damascus <laughs> broken Matt Hardy, whatever you want to call him. He's laying in shots to Chris Jericho. And now Kenny Omega looks to be ascending. He's ascending all right, Excalibur. He's going up. Oh, oh, the scissor lift. <laughs> Good grief. What the hell what are we watching, watching here tonight? <laughs> Saying the same thing, JR. And look at here comes here comes Hager. He won't stay down long. Uh, Hager coming to the aid of his meal ticket. Kenny got kind of interrupted there. Yeah, Kenny got 10 feet in the air here. Tableless interruptus. Maybe 15. Oh, oh my, my God. God! Oh my God! I've never seen anything like that. Omega took down three men and may have hurt himself as well with the damnedest bleat and dive and high risk maneuver you've ever seen. Just Omega's on top of this game here tonight, fellas. Yeah, he is just throwing caution to the wind and just. Omega, he's got Jericho up on the shoulders. Jericho looks. He's got him hooked. But oh, or Santana and Ortiz. Santana and Ortiz come to their boss's aid. There you go. Tim they're back and they're here and they're. And the inner circle right now has the numbers. The numbers, the numbers. It's always the damn numbers. Omega was gonna hit that one-winged angel on Chris Jericho, but Santana and Ortiz emerging. Returning here to Dynamite, and now they've got Damascus oh, up this. on top. Oh my God, Jake Hager. The same treatment they gave John Moxley oh. several weeks ago, just decimating and trying to break Matt Hardy apart. Damascus, Hardy, a compound, he's down. Yeah. And now Kenny Omega being brought, just brought, held at the mercy of the inner circle for Chris Jericho. Numbers are too great. As great as Omega and Matt Hardy are, numbers are too great. It's got to be academic, fellas. There's no way Omega can survive. They're not going to powerbomb him on top of this, are they? Oh! God, the powerbomb on top of that cart. Omega's spine being shattered by Chris Jericho. So this is deadly. This is deadly. It's sinister. It's a career shortener. And Hager just dragging Omega by, by that choke. And then, oh, the Judas effect! Omega went down. The Judas effect caught him. Falls count anywhere. And Jericho and Guevara, with the help of their friends, the entire inner circle has defeated. Here are your winners. Omega and Hardy. Play six guys. The scrapes on the back of Jericho. Run over by the cart a couple of times, and with the help of Santana and Ortiz back, the inner circle walks away with a win. Now here he comes. Getting some momentum. Building up ahead of steam. Oh my God. Whoa! Oh! Crashing onto Jericho. Look at, look at this again. Man, what a big splash. Oh, Nick never saw a chance he wouldn't take. Uh, Hangman with the, the line marker. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> That's <just> too damn good. <laughs> oh, not in the face. I'm not sure if that's a regulation line. <laughs> well, why don't you go check? <laughs> right up the crotch. <laughs> oh, Look boy. Sammy. Okay. Oh, God. Sammy trying to get his way back to is somewhere. He, is he like the only one? Is he like the only one conscious here? Of the, uh, bare, oh! A round of sprinklers. This poor bastard can't catch a break. <laughs> <laughs> well, woke him up, though. <sighs> Sammy Guevara waking up. I won! <laughs> I won! Sammy woke up thinking he won the match. I did it! Guys! I did it! I did it! I did it! 
What's that? Oh, no! Not again. Deja vu all over again. You better run, Sammy. Oh, no, the headlights are on! Bryce Remsburg sprinting along. Go, Bryce. <laughs> the Lambeau leap in oh, Jacksonville. Oh, my God. The Jaguar leap now. Sammy doing everything he can to escape Omega. And Hardy in the golf cart. S Sammy just Steve trying to keep the elite away. Sammy doing all he can to elude the opposition and more punishment for number 93. Sammy, and oh, the boot of Guevara on the face of Omega. He's all alone. His teammates have been wiped in. out. Oh. Guevara trying to throttle Matt Hardy. Oh, he's fighting back. You got to give it to him. Well, Vanguard One, what's Vanguard One got an upgrade. This is Neo One, the natural electronic organism. Hurt. Oh, Omega, bang with the V trigger on Guevara. Hart, Matt Hardy's almost orgasmic. And Omega! What are we doing here? With, with Sammy Kavara on it. Oh no! Delete! Oh, oh my god in heaven! Good lord! The one winged angel from the seats through the table, or I think it's a table. The one winged angel by Kenny Omega! There's a count! The winners of this match, the e this one winged angel from high up. I've never seen a one winged angel that high up with that much power. I become, I become, I become man. Judas in, Judas in my mind. Do me a favor, I invited you here, so can you just stop breathing down my neck? Uh, sure. uh, 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 great, thanks. Uh oh, what's going on, guys? Big party. Cool, cool. Chrissy, how's it going, brother? Max. How are you? I'm great, man. I'm coming here, bearing gifts. I'm pretty excited about it because I really? wanted to congratulate you on your big win tonight. Really? I got it, man. I got it. Wow. Okay, here we go. What do you got? All right, numero uno. Let's see who this one's for. Wow. Oh, all right. 
and it is for... This look great. Hager! All right, big man, there's yours. Okay, let's see who else we got here. Let's see who else we got here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Ortiz. There you go, big man. It's a killer. All right, all right, who's next? Santana, my dude. Mm -hmm. Fresh jacket. And we got the champion, Chris Jericho. And then we got Sao. Wardlow, what, what, what's going on here, man? I know, I know that I got one for him. What's going on here? Was it there? Was it there for you to pack in the box? Oh my God, this is so ridiculously embarrassing. Um, Sammy, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, this was not intentional on my mother. I swear on my mother's life. I will whatever, get you Max. a jacket. Whatever, Max, no, 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 whatever, man. W what are you doing in here, huh? What the hell are you doing in here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whatever, Max, what are you doing in here? What the hell are you doing in here? Whoa, huh? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, I am simply here to congratulate you on your victory. It's just like I said. I mean, well, come on. I mean, we appreciate this. You came in, you walked in the door, you've been following us around. These, these, these jackets are great, by the way. Thank you so Thank much. You, but man. I asked you a question a long time ago, and I'm kind of picking up what you're laying down here, right? So I'm going to ask you again. Do you want to join the inner circle? <laughs> Chris, you know, I don't want to be rude here, but I asked you a question a long time ago. And it was quite simple. You never got back to me. Do you want me to join the inner circle? Do you want to join the inner circle? Yeah, no, no, no. Do you want me to join the inner circle? Do you want to no, join no, no. the inner circle? No, no, no. Do you want me to join the inner circle? Do you want, circle? To, join do you want me to join the inner circle? Do you want to join it's the inner circle? Chris, all yeah, I'm, I'm asking you if you want to ask the question. Do you stop! Want to stop! Just stop. Enough. Just stop. Just stop. Hold on, 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 stop it, get, get, stop it, stop it, we're stop dog. it, we're cool, stop man. it, listen, we appreciate the gifts, they look great, very classy move, thank you, it's a very MJF move, thank you for that, you know what, it's a very Chris Jericho move of you to notice that class, mm -hmm. of course, and all I want to say before I leave is I'm so excited for you, man, 30 years mm -hmm. in this amazing sport, Thank you. And it's been a legendary run, sir. It's been an absolutely legendary one. Thank you. So we're going to head on out. You guys have a great night. Enjoy those jackets. I hope you like them. They're great. Come on, War Dog. Don't forget Sammy's, right? Abs never. I would never. OK. <laughs> See you later, Max. Peace out, buddy. Don't say so much next time, Wardlow. What a loser. Whoa. Perhaps he's not. in this match. Guevara! A suplex plants Ortiz. Well, that Guevara's got little Eddie Guerrero written all over him in my eyes. He does. And that Santana just stopped the momentum there. Yeah, kick to the spine by Santana. And Sammy Guevara had his back turned. Guevara in, in a very precarious position here. Yeah. MJF, though. Bringing Sammy Guevara out towards center. But, oh, the reverse orc on Rana just planted MJF. Man, it, that, was, that was treacherous. Sammy Guevara. Treacherous landing. Oh. Spanish wow. fly from the Spanish god. You talked earlier about a bump car, JR. Remember that? Yeah. Sammy Guevara. Yes, sir. Man, one, pull this one out. Two. Oh, Ortiz. At so close. 2.9. Referee in great position, though, to get a good look at the shoulders. Whoa, hey, wait a minute. He's got oh. Floyd. He's got his back. Oh! <laughs> Hager strikes first. Wow! That was better than a bat. The big boot by Hager. MJF. Oh, MJF. The He's got the ring. The it. dynamite diamond ring. And he knows it. Hager knows it. <laughs> oh! God almighty. Boom. What a right hand. Explosive right hand from Jake Hager. Santana and Ortiz, though, we've got Hager rocked. Oh, double clothesline. Man, is it Jake Hager not or what? Man, it is. Sammy Guevara running shooting star press. No, MJF breaks it up in time. Ortiz sent into the corner. Jericho tags himself in. Guevara powerbomb from MJF. Jericho. 
Oh! Lion Salt puts the far leg. Two, no! Man, this uh, deep water swimming here, Tony. That's a hell of a fight, guys. I'm, I'm telling you. An intense, All six men. Intensely physical matchup here in our main event. But it's been basically uh, by the book. Blind tag was made there by Ortiz. And Santana and Ortiz. If you consider entering the ring illegally by the book. They've got Jericho Hook. They flatten him. Ortiz with a chance. One, two, no. Oh, it's close. Ortiz can't afford to take his, oh, the code breaker. He took his eye off of Jericho for a moment. Which man can make it, make the cut? One, two, no! Aubrey's hand was coming down, getting close to the canvas when the shoulder went up. And look at all the blood rising to the, the surface of Jericho's chest there. He's been blistered by chops. Man, the time limit should be becoming a factor, should it not? It's, well, it's TV time remaining as Ortiz counters that double DDT. But Hager. Heavy hitter back in. Start him first. We've got about a minute left of TV time. Yeah, but there's a blind tag been made there by the Hager bomb. Sammy Guevara oh. with the set time. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. He's going to win one. It. one, two, no. Ortiz broke it up. Ortiz, oh, Jericho sends Hager to the outside. Jumping knee strike on Jericho. Sammy Guevara looking for the GTH on Jericho. He hit it. He blasted Jericho. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Thrust kick. Sammy Guevara. He's looking to put away MJF. Wardlow knocked off the apron. There goes Wardlow. Rolled him up. And he's got the trunks. Three, no. Sammy. Man, I was just ah. looking for you. Guys, I need a minute with him. You good? We're good, guys. Wardlow, you too. You too. Cameraman stays. Well, there you go, Sammy. You have the room. What would you like to talk about? I watched last week. I know exactly what you're doing. Mm. See, you keep alluding to this week after week, so let me, let me hear it. Max, I know you're trying to take over the inner circle. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, it is. It's obvious. Yes. Come on, every single week you it's make obvious. it obvious and obvious more and it's more. Obvious. You know what, Sammy, you know what I think? When I first got into the inner circle, at first I thought this was just childish, petty rivalry from you because Let's face it, I thought you were jealous, Sammy. And why wouldn't you be? I mean, you were the apple of Chris Jericho's eye. And then in I walk and the sex gods dies and MJF's the new favorite. But then I realized, Sammy, something much more sinister than that. No, no, it's not jealousy. I think you hate Chris Jericho. I think you hate his guts. I think you hate the fact that you have to play second fiddle to him. You feel you should be the front man, front and center, Sammy Guevara. I think you're upset because you want to take over the inner circle. <laughs> right, right. Okay, Max, you figured me out. I'm trying to take over the inner circle, right? I hate Chris Jericho, right? Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> Actually, Sammy, that is exactly what I wanted to hear. What are you doing, man? That's my phone. Are you recording me? What are you nuts? What are you doing? Oh. Really pushed him. Somehow, Chris Jericho and MJF were able to weather the storm of the acclaim. Hey, I'm not gonna be surprised if someday we wake up. Take a deep look in the inner circle and see every champion in AEW a member of that organization. It's very, very possible.
Well, it will be Chris Jericho and MJF vying for the AEW World. What is this? Guevara's music. Well, this is going to be really interesting. Sammy's got something to say. He's got the mic. He's fearless. Looking right in the front yard, looking all the other dogs right in the eye. What's the problem here, man? You come out five minutes late, then I hear you punch Max in the stomach. You're smashing his phone. What's wrong with you? What's the, what's the problem? Huh? Chris? What? I told you. I told you December 9th, 2020, right here on Dynamite. If one more thing happened with him, that I was done. And so I'm out here to tell you, I'm done. What do you mean that you're done? What do you mean? I mean I'm done. I mean I quit the inner circle. Oh. Sammy Guevara was one of the foundational members of the yes, inner circle. Absolutely. And at one time, very close to Chris Jericho. And he's walking out. You know, we're, we're going to have to, we're going to have to get more on this. Can we get Alex Marvez or somebody to talk to him as he's walking out? Very upset is Chris Jericho. When any great army needs to change their course in the middle of battle, they have a war council to decide the best possible way to continue on in the combat, and that's what we're doing tonight. Because the inner circle's been in a little bit of a decline over the last few weeks, over the last few months, but it's easily remedied, because we are the smartest in the business today. So it's time for a new attitude, time for a new outlook. Maybe even it's time to introduce a new member oh. into the inner circle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chris, with all due respect, I really don't think we need to add a new member, Chris. Matter of fact, quite the contrary, Chris. If I'm being honest, I think maybe it's time we let somebody go. Sammy Guevara. I think business is about to pick up. How long has it been since Ge Guevara walked out? And he walked as coolly back in. Good on the other side of the pillow, Tony. Great ovation for Sammy Guevara's return. But what does he have on his mind? I think it's a shock on everyone's face in the inner circle, if I can read that correctly. Wow. Wow. Look who's here. You remember his name, right? That's, that's funny, because I said I never wanted to hear your name again. Now, Chris, what are you doing? Chris. I know right now I'm the last person you want to see. I know that. I know you're not happy with me, but I need to show you something. I need you to see this. Oh, sure, sure. Listen, you got a lot of guts showing up here after what I said, and I meant it. Sammy, you're dead to us, man. Chris, we don't just want listen. you here. Chris, just listen. After everything we've been through, from the first dynamite to now, everything we've done, I need you to listen to me. I need you to see this. Just look at it, look! Tonight's the night, boys. We have been talking about this for months. I think we can all agree it's a time right now for 
some new leadership in the inner circle. I think we all know who that should be. Tonight we cut the head off the snake. Tonight we get old Chris Jericho a nice little dirt nap. What do you say, boys? Okay. Let's do it. All right. See y'all out there. Wow. Well, Chris, I didn't want you to find out this way, but oh well. Get him! Oh my God. I can't believe this. They're outnumbered here, guys. <laughs> the worm has turned. Yeah, like I said, a rat. Uh, now hold on a minute. Now hold on a minute. Shut up, you stupid son of a bitch. Ouch. You really think we don't talk to each other every single day, huh? Huh? You really don't think we were waiting for you to hang yourself, MJ? I'll tell you this right now. Since I'm the one that brought you into the inner circle, I'm the one that's going to bring you out of the inner circle. Yeah. Oh, oh man, that's a little embarrassing. Well, I can't, I'm going to, I'm going to take this footage home and watch it. On all behalf week. of the inner circle and Chris Jericho, your ass is fired. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Chris. And on top of that. We're gonna give you a little old school inner circle beatdown. No, no, right no, 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 Chris, 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 hear me out. Come on, get Chris. On. I didn't want to take over your inner circle, Chris. I swear to God, I didn't want to take over your group. I swear, man. I swear. He's crying. Cause I was too busy building my own. What the hell? What is? Oh my God! Oh my God! It's it's FTR Wardlow and T Sean Spears and Tully Blanchard, and they've got him surrounded. Oh! Fight is on. Oh my God! Bottles are breaking. Bones will be next. And look at this. The chairman, Sean Spears, is. He's. He's got Sammy Guevara. Oh no! 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 Oh God! He... Sammy went face first, right through that steel chair. And look at Wardlow pushing on Jericho. And, and and the thing that kicked all this off, Dax Harwood just smashed a bottle over the head of Jake Hager. Hager is down on the outside. With oh, all more handcuffs. Harwood and, and Spears handcuffing Ortiz and Santana. They're treating like Ortiz and Santana like animals. Boy, I'm, I'm telling you, I hate to say this, I really do, because he's no good. He's a turd, but. but and look at MJF just perched up on the top rope. He is as shrewd and as calculating as they look, come. Look at Wardlow towering over Chris Jericho. Wardlow's oh. the big money, I think, in this whole oh, damn no, 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 no. Oh, this. Oh! I never thought that. This is the last thing I I thought we were going to see MJF get his ass kicked. And then this happens? But look at this now. FTR picking up Santana and Ortiz. They got him handcuffed. No. Oh, the pile drivers with their hands beat restrained. They both were handcuffed, nothing brutal. they could do. It's nothing but brutal. It's career shortening. There's absolutely no call for this level of aggression when men are handcuffed and cannot defend themselves. Good God, and this is- FTR with MJF, this are you is, This is mind blowing. It's a whole hell of a lot of initials, boys. And they're on the wrong side of the page for me. And they got Tully Blanchard with them. And Wardlow, I mean- yeah. And Wardlow. Someday we're going to be saying Wardlow's name first. 
Oh, look, Sean Spears oh, hungry. Look at this. He's, he's going to hit him with that. Oh, the dynamite diamond. Right in the head. A cheap shot with that diamond ring. This is beyond comprehension. I mean, it, 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 it is. Let's face it. Chris Jericho, the inner circle, got outsmarted. Yes. Oh, look at that. It opened him oh up. That, that that ring opened up his forehead. And not not many men can outthink Chris Jericho, but somehow. He was going for the bat, and then Wardlow. Oh, no, it's Jericho. Make it. MJF steps on his foot. Now, Tully Blanchard with a baseball bat. That's an no, ugly, no, that's no, an no. ugly picture. No, we're not, no, no. Jericho bleeding. Yeah, pulling up on that. Oh my God. This is a. No! Oh! Right in the ribs. They're not done with him. Oh, get the bat to the face of Jericho. They are completely wiped out. Completely wiped out. Sammy Guevara with the chair. Jake Hager with the bottle of champagne. The Santana, inner circle, it, it, and Santana and Ortiz were. The inner circle has been completely decimated by MJF and this, this new organization that he has created. We, inner circle has got the. What, 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 what the hell now? Now what? Chris, FTR and Spears carrying. Are they, taking, Jericho? are they taking Jericho? Oh, my God! They, they, he can't do this. Not. Oh, look at Warlow's tower. Picking up Jericho with. He's on. A oh. bloody Jericho power bomb from the stage through a table, and the concrete floor has broken his fall. He's a bloody mess. His face a crimson mask here tonight in Jacksonville. Well, there is a new faction in town, boys. Led by MJF, FTR, Sean Spears, and Wardlow, and Tully Blanchard. A deadly, deadly combination. You're seeing right there before your very eyes. Here live tonight at AEW. MJF has done it. He's pulled off a coup. It's an all-star team, ladies and gentlemen. But what's the status of Chris Jericho? He's hurt, and he's hurt badly. Folks, immediately following us tonight, go Big Show on TNT. Check it out if you can. God almighty, what a night. For Excalibur and Tony Schiavone, I'm Jim Ross saying so long, everybody. Well, what do you know? There's Floyd. What do you know? Oh! Floyd, meet MJF. Come on. You guys should get to know each other. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Oh. Come on. You really are an asshole. Huh? Oh my God! Oh my God! Head and face first, right through that glass. It's a good thing tomorrow's a holiday because somebody's gonna have to clean all of this up. Mm. I hope it's a bloody mess when he just, to be honest with you, when he pulls it up. Whew. Good. Come on, come on, come on, Tully. The Inner Circle Motorcycle Club. Uh-oh. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Spears is running like a scalded dog for his own survival. And MJF getting dragged across concrete. Chris Jericho. He's coming towards Daly's place. Jericho and MJF battling out of TIA Bank Field into Daly's place. They've gone from the stadium 
the football offices, the football field, to now back into Daly's place. Jericho and MJF. The home of the Jags is also the home of AEW. Oh! oh my God! <laughs> I hope the little man's wearing a cup. I hope he's not. <laughs> MJF, a bloody mess. Oh! That injured arm. What a crazy Getting tortured match. again. I'm telling you, stadium stampede. Two as not disappointed at all. What a what MJ, a, thinking. a violent, crazy, unbelievable uh, night. Hey, he'll toss oh my God. on top of that no, thing no, 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 in no, a no, heartbeat. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. We need security to stop it right now. Oh, man. Jer oh, my. Jer oh, picking up one of those big spotlights. Somehow, some way, oh, both these men are standing. Oh no! Oh! 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 Do it again! This crowd loving Jericho and his inner circle. They know what's at stake. Jericho and crew must win. There's no other options if they want to stay together. Where in the hell is Fears going? He's running away from the motorcycle club. Really? That's not the motorcycle club! That's Sammy Guevara with a golf cart! Sammy knows what it's like to be chased down in a golf cart. That been him last year. Look at Spears. Oh. <laughs> right in front of us here! Right here at our feet! Tell them, Sammy! Give them some, Sammy! The Spanish God and the Chairman. Yes, yeah, Sammy Guevara has been on fire. Guevara, whoa. Oh, watch out. Sean Spears has Guevara up on the shoulders. Oh, man. Spears trying to block it, but to no avail. But Spears. Oh, oh the my chair. God. Oh, that's it. The chairman. It, it's oh, over. No. Oh, no. It, oh, no. Oh, God. That could have been. It was so close to being the end of the inner circle. I'd oh. venture to say oh. in this environment, in this situation, if Sammy Guevara does not win, we may not see him again for a while. Well, well Sammy Guevara doesn't win. We may never. We will we'll never see the inner circle again. Yes, that's what I'm saying. But. For Sammy to be able to in this position, I don't know how to live with himself. It's my point. And right now, Spears has got he's got this one uh, in control. Sammy's hurt. Sammy can't get to his feet. Mm. Spears standing over with a chair. I could have broken a jaw, man. Exactly. Like the way that hit. The defiant Sammy Guevara not backing down. Oh, oh my Lord. God! The split. Not now. Oh, there it is. No. The chair on not the like this. No. no. Oh. How the hell did Sammy Guevara kick out after taking a shot right to the right to the temple? That, that's kind of what Sean says. That facial, like Sean, that the way he looked, that reaction. How did he do it? The inner circle survived two vicious blows. Sammy Guevara cannot endure another shot like that. Spears is sadistic. He is merciless and a very dangerous and I think somewhat unbalanced man. And Spears wedging the chair in the corner. This is that's where he put that chair the night we saw the pinnacle formed and he stomped Sammy Guevara's head through that chair. 
And he's looking to do the same thing here again tonight. He's looking to end the inner circle. I know we'd have a riot here, but the referee's got a serious consideration that can Guevara even defend himself. Yeah, that, that's right. He, 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 Guevara just trying to be a dead wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sammy. Sammy. Got Spears. A GTH. How did he come out of that? Wild eyed and crazy is young Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara has rocked Sean Spears. I did this to you, bitch. No, no, Sammy. You and now Chairman bitch. Meat Chair. Spears got face to face with that steel chair. And now Sammy's got the game in his hands. Oh, he sure does, man. Can he close the deal, as we say? Well, the fans are with him here now, aren't and they? They're packed, packed house, standing, loving every minute of it. Oh. 6.30, Santon! Guevara covers! Yes! Guevara leads the inner circle to the victory! of this match, Inner Circle. They stay together to the Inner Circle. And a year ago, it was different, but retribution for Sammy Guevara personally and for the Inner Circle together again. Chris Jericho, Santana, Ortiz and Hager. The inner circle fought for their survival and succeeded. Sammy saved the day at the end of the night in an amazing battle. What a spectacle the Stadium Stampede 2 has been. He's going to the top rope. Sammy headed up top once again. Could be the moment. Could be all oh, the champions up. Nope, Sammy rolls through Miro. Oh, the crossbody caught. Oh, God. Oh. Good God. Too much power. And that's Sammy to Gamara shows great oh. resilience and toughness. Pure, unadulterated toughness against this brute of a man. That brute of a man, Miro, holding the side of his head. He's been through the ringer here. Which man is going to come out on top? Who is going to be the face? of TNT after the night is over. And you saw Miro, he was he was flexing his fingers there, maybe yeah. getting a little tingling from that neck injury. Good point, Excalibur, good point. But he's about now, he must have all of his feelings in his... Oh, look at his eyes, he's ready for it, man. Yeah, his expression changed. Yeah, he's going to me out of my game. He's, he's going for game over. Be the end of the night for Sammy Guevara. I don't know, I don't know if a ceremonial dance in the middle of a match is a smart thing to do. He should have just kicked the Miro. Oh, the knee strike that time it hit. Guevara been looking for it all match, but oh, a second one. There you go. Look, he got, got him down on the bottom turnbuckle. Sammy goes through. Sammy's got the momentum on his favor. He's building and building. He's, he's one, he may be one big move away. He's from... climbing too early, JR. He's climbing too early. Oh, and Miro oh. just a right oh. hand to the side of the head. He rocked him on that one, man. Good call, Excalibur. He rocked him. Completely stopping Sammy Guevara's progress. And now Miro thinking was, superplex. Was it too early? Was it really too early? We're going to find out here because <laughs> this exchange has got us deep in the water. Who's going to walk out here? The oh. champion! What a cutter! Covering Sammy. Sammy hit the cutter, but Miro, look at this. Miro already back up to his feet. No way. No way. He's too big. Sammy looking for the GTH. But Miro! Oh, oh God. My God, what That's a it. That's it. No! <laughs> Miro can't believe it. He I don't is, know if I can believe it. I think Miro is either getting, I don't want to say humiliated, but he's definitely 100% pissed off. Yeah, he's frustrated, big time. 100% pissed off. Look at Sammy, he rolled out of bounds. He, he knew Miro was looking. 
Well, Miro trying to rip the turnbuckle pad off. This is now CM Punk is just a waste of time. Well, your man's on the floor, and at this point, you're the champion. You have to be pinned. You have to be submitted. Well, think back. Let the referee, let the referee count Sammy out. If I'm Miro, I'm letting the referee count. He's ripping turnbuckles off. He's going to start eating turnbuckles like George Steele. There's Fuego. Fuego del Sol getting in the face of Miro. Oh. Oh. See ya. But think back to All Out. Ripping the turnbuckle off is how Miro was able Sammy, to defeat Eddie Sammy. Kingston. All the nation. Oh. Oh. Face first into that exposed turnbuckle. Is that the break that Gabar needed? Tornado did it, by God! Come on, Sammy. And Miro. Your time is now. Miro like he's on roller skates. Sammy! GGH! Pin him! Oh, Sammy didn't go over the pin. He's got one more move in his mind. He might need to do this. It takes a lot to beat the Redeemer. What's he got in mind? Sammy! No! Oh! 6.30 cents on! One, two, three! Are you kidding me? Sammy! 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 The winner of this match and new TNT champion, Sammy Goodbye! History's been made here in Rochester on a very special night. Special young man who has climbed to the top of the mountain and is now the face of TNT. On a night where we celebrate Brody Lee, who will always be synonymous with that TNT title, we crown a new champion. Since October 2nd, 2019, you've been in the main event of pay per views, you've been in the main event of Dynamite, main event of Rampage, your payoffs have gone through the roofs, you made more money in your lives to this company than you ever had before. Okay, and yet you still want to bring your shortcomings on me. You had a chance to be the AEW World Tag Team Champions. February 17th, about a year ago, you had your chance, but you lost to the Young Bucks. That had nothing to do with me. But yet you want to pull all your problems on me? How about this? I brought you into the inner circle. I could kick you the hell out as well. Wow. Things unraveling rapidly for the inner circle. As a matter of fact, when I think about how I put this faction together with attitudes like this, I have to ask myself, maybe I invited the wrong two members of LAX to join. Ouch. Hey, Jake, you got Homicide and Hernandez. Oh, oh hey, hey, oh. stop, stop, hey, stop, 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 stop. We're a family, we're a family, stop, stop. We're a family, stop, St. Ten, stop. Shut up, Sammy! Wow. Last Friday on Rampage, Jericho said Sammy was his closest Listen, friend here at AEW. Times change, Excalibur. Save it, Chris. I don't know what the hell's going on right now, but I love you guys. You guys are my family. Inner circle forever, that's what we've always said. But Chris, I gotta be honest with you. One of my goals is to be the greatest champion in professional wrestling that there's ever been. And all this bickering back and forth, it's not gonna help it. So you know what? I've quit this group before, and unless you guys can figure this shit out, I'll quit again. Figure it out. Man, wow. That's some earth-shaking news. It just keeps on rolling here tonight. Unlikely voice of reason, Sammy Guevara. 
Germans. Jericho just said stand up and then stay down. Oh, but can't stand up to his feet. Cobreaker again. That wiped him out, guys. That hit him in his face in the orbital bone. That hit him where he wanted to. But Jericho's not done, apparently. Jericho is a very physical marksman. Yeah, he struck with that lion salt, and then he struck twice with the Codebreaker. Now he wants the Judas effect. He wants to use that spinning back elbow on the orbital bone of Eddie Kingston. Kingston struggling to his feet as Jericho has Eddie all lined up. You never win the big one. Oh! Jericho just, oh, oh my God, what a shot! A oh. second time! Down goes Jericho! And Kingston, he's locking in the stretch plum! If he can twist, if he can wrench Jericho's neck, this could be it! Kingston! Kingston is wrenching Jericho! Kingston looking for a submission win. Be the biggest oh. win in his career if he can pull it off here. He's that close. Eddie Kingston has used this stretch plum to Jericho Eddie had to tap. Again. Chris Jericho had to tap. Eddie Kingston has Eddie won this match. Kingston! He did it! But look at the bruising around the eye of Eddie Kingston. It, this victory was not without its cost, but Eddie Kingston defining his legacy. Like I won. Eddie's not aware of just right now that he won the damn match. My God. What a slobber knock. There we see that code breaker on the eye. But Kingston, as soon as he wrenched on that injured neck of Jericho for the third time, it was too much for Jericho to but take. Look at the face of Eddie. He was confused. He couldn't figure out what happened. What happened is you won. He won the big one here tonight, the kickoff revolution. Because of all the punishment he had taken. Again, he had to will himself to stand up to even get that hold on. Eddie Kingston just beat one of the very best in the entire world by submission here at Revolution. I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I'm overstating the fact that it's the biggest win of his AEW career. No. Without a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. And remember what Jericho said: if Eddie Kingston can beat him in the center of the ring, he will shake that man's hand. Jericho will say. You have earned my respect. Well, let's see if Jericho follows through on his word. It's the only honorable thing to do, I think. I respect you, Chris. Shake my hand. He respects Jericho. Does it go both ways? Come on, Chris. Jericho can't bring himself to do it. So Jericho's not going to keep his word, apparently. Uh, yeah, I'm really disappointed. I think fans are as well. But the fact is, you can't take away what Eddie Kingston accomplished here on an opening bout of Revolution. Second, come on. 2.0, and Daniel Garcia will absolutely have no business being out here. You're no. right. They have reached so many great moments. What in the? And they are swarming the ring, and Garcia goes immediately at Kingston. Matt Lee. Jericho's got that bad neck, no doubt about that. Yeah, they the triple team on Eddie Kingston, who went through that war on Sunday night as well. And look at this completely uncalled for by 2.0 and Garcia once again disrupting a huge moment here in AEW. But here come the cavalry. Santana and Ortiz bat in hand. Thank God. 2.0 and Daniel Garcia just ruined a, a, what I thought was a tremendous moment in and right, AEW. And right now though Daniel Garcia getting his comeuppance. Santana's got Garcia. Ortiz has the bat. This could, this could be bad. What a hell of a way to start off. AEW Dynamite. If anybody deserves this is Daniel Garcia. I can tell you that. Uh oh. Floyd's ready to go to work. Oh! 
Jericho just cracks it. Ten and now we're what, 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 what happened? What? My God. 2.0 and Chris Jericho. What? Are, what? They're working. To, what? Are, Jericho's just turned his back on his brothers in the inner circle. And he's here comes Jake Hager. He can't believe what he has seen. Where does he stand? Hager just witnessed. Oh, wait, Hager! What? Just ran through. Hager is helping out 2.0 in Jericho! From the first dynamite until now, Jericho and the inner circle were thick as thieves. Oh! God. Matt Lee and Jeff Parker, the implant DDT. And Daniel Garcia now with the sharpshooter on Santana. This is... What a betrayal we have just witnessed. After the handshake, which I thought was a wonderful moment. I thought all was right in the world, but my God. Not Jericho at 2.0. Not Jericho at... Garcia. Look at Eddie getting stretched out there like a sacrificial lamb. For what, what has Eddie done? He talked about the respect and the love he had for Jericho. Oh! oh, and he hit him on the top of the head. With that baseball bat, Eddie's reeling. Jericho has orchestrated and manipulated one of the damnedest moments in AEW history. He hit him in the head with the to handle that bat, which is the hardest handle, hardest part of the bat. God almighty, but someone please stop this. And Lee and Parker grab the timekeeper's table. See how well this is planned out. Every moment has been accounted for as it relates to Jericho's plan. Jake Hager, he's got Eddie Kingston. Ooh, oh, no. Look out. And Jericho oh, and six, six. helping him out. Oh, my God. That explosion of Eddie Kingston's head and neck, his shoulders, right through the table. And remember, Hager's 6'6", and he had, he had Eddie above his head. Are Chris Jericho and Jake Hager in league with Garcia, Parker, and Lee? It certainly appears to be. How do you really know anymore? This is the Jericho Appreciation Society. And that, that's an attainment. <laughs> oh. Came out of nowhere. But now the question is, where is it going? Fans are changing oh. Ortiz's name. And Ortiz reverses the backslide. He was up on his tippy toes, but Jericho able to kick out Ork and Rana. Attempted, and Jericho. There it is, there it is. Right in the center of the ring. Jericho's got his hands locked. Absolutely not a good place for Ortiz to be. He needs to get to those ropes, or he needs to pull himself out somehow from underneath. The there wide go. base there by Jericho. Jeez. Ortiz making that desperate crawl, gets his hand on the bottom rope. Fans here love it. Oh, get, get, there you go, get Angelo Parker out of there. Right? There's Eddie. Kingston just dives into the fray. Eddie fighting on the whole damn crew. But this has been the Jericho Appreciation Society MO all along. The numbers in there, Santana and Wheeler Yuta. Where the hell have you guys been? Santana goes at Menard and Parker. Wheeler Yuta and Daniel Garcia teeing off on one another. Man, this is problematic for everybody involved. A lot of bodies moving around here in a violent and aggressive way. And remember, last Friday night, we saw Kingston pick up a huge victory over Jake Hager. Now Kingston inside the ring! Ooh, the Jericho! He's out! Jericho's out! And the Kingston's done it for Ortiz! Cover him! Cover him! Cover him! I want to see this man bold! Oh! Oh! oh. No good lousy swine! How? Ah! Oh, settle down! Half a count away from the victory, Jericho instinctively 
able to get a shoulder up just before Aubrey Edwards' hand hit three. Everybody on their feet. Oh. The fans here wanted to see Chris Jericho and wanted to see Chris Jericho chain bald. And that spinning back fist from Kingston, that has put out so many opponents. Yeah, but it, the thing about it is, Excalibur, what's it done to Jericho? Is he going to be able to continue at 100%? Oh, wait a second. Oh, but the professional in it. Professionalism in Fuego, 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 Fuego del Sol. Fuego del Sol, what the hell is he doing? Oh. What did Fuego just do? Fuego with the bat just laid out Ortiz. Ortiz motionless. Is this the way it's going down? Fuego del Sol. Is this how Ortiz is going to lose his hair? Indeed, it is. The winner of this match, Chris Jericho. And Fuego del Sol. What stake does he have in all of this? Helping out Jericho, preserving Jericho's hair. Payday. You gotta believe, first of all, it's gonna be a payday of some sort. Or a payback of some sort, don't yeah. He's the wizard. He always has a trick up his sleeve. And the trick this time was Fuego del Sol. Man, look, Eddie cannot believe what he's seen. Yeah, Eddie Kicks and Jake Hager were fighting on the near side of the ring. They diverted the referee's attention. and. Sammy, Sammy, what have you done? It looks like he's reunited with Jericho. What an incredible turn of events, Sammy Guevara. The very first ever AEW Dynamite. They were thick as thieves then, and they've been ever since then, apparently. And now they're back together on this episode number 141. Don't forget, we got a haircutting coming up. That's right, the barber's in the ring. Ortiz was pinned. Jericho's plan worked to a T. Sammy Guevara executed it to a T. And Jake Hager's wearing the ugliest outfit on TV. It's brutal. What a minute. What's he doing? Grab the uh, clippers out of the hand of the barber. Give me a mic. Give me a mic. And he takes the demand of the microphone as he and Ortiz. Oh, look at. Ortiz cutting his own hair. Yeah, what he's doing, Mr. man in the mask, is being a man, and he's taking it on the chin. He lost the match, so he's being doing the right thing. Yeah. It's not, not something I want to see, but he's doing the right thing. Me of his word. Showing that he's made. Yes, of his exactly, word. exactly. Guess what, Chris? Integrity. This ain't done. Monkey, let him know. Bloody guts! 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 Blood and guts continues oh. as Chris Jericho oh. is dragging the interim AEW World Champion. It's sadistic. It's sadistic. It's what it is. Stepping over. The walls has got him here. And remember, it's submission or surrender. If Moxley gives up right now, this is all over. In the tax, but Kingston has Chris in his sights. Watch Eddie. Eddie's a desperate man. And they'll do desperate things. Oh, no. He's taking a bunch of tacks. And he just oh, right in the face of Jericho. Those thumbtacks right in the face, the eyes. Then he may have swallowed one. Who knows? I was just going to say the mouth, the eyes, the nose, anything. He's definitely saved the match and saved that man, Moxley. And Chris Jericho, Jericho knows exactly how to apply that walls of Jericho, that modified Boston. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good for good for for our team that Eddie made the save there. Eddie now just getting into just. Straight up street fight here on Jericho. This thing has been wild, man. The hatred between Kingston and Jericho. King's you direction. Gotta, you gotta believe fatigue's gonna be setting in, fellas. Definitely, definitely. You can't fight this long to this level without getting exhausted. And losing that much perspiration, but most of and all, blood, that much blood. blood. Correct. Thank you. Yeah. Oh! oh. Jericho. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher in the, in the eyes of Kingston. Well, that, that'll slow Eddie down. They won't stop him, I don't think. Several slow oh, down. the hell did Ty Cobb did she did something on the outside? I couldn't even tell what it was. She just took out the, the, the ref. Ty Cobb just took out the ref and stole the key. She's on oh, the cage. That Jezebel. Oh, he's still lost. Oh, look at that. That's Ruby Ruby Ruby. Ruby. Come on. Ruby. 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 Don't take your mother Ruby. down. Ruby all over. Solo's all over. Soho 
Such good friends with Kingston and Moxley with all the Blackpool Comic Club. She couldn't stand by idly. And look, Jer look, look at Jericho oh, here. Right right here by us. And Jericho's oh, oh, Ruby's throwing some Ruby. delicious right hands, I'll tell you that. Jericho's moving to the top of this, this, this structure here. Here you go, the punk's proud, Ruby. Good for you, girl. Jericho trying to get away from Eddie Kingston. Kingston's laughing because once Jericho gets on top, there's nowhere to go but down. Yeah, no, you're right, JR. I'm not quite sure that Jericho knows that Eddie is in hot pursuit behind him. This was the one thing that I couldn't strategize with anybody about. I'm completely out of my depth. I'd never been on the top rope. Yeah, so you got a nosebleed. I don't know the feeling. Chris well, Jericho this. crawling on hands and knees, trying to escape Eddie Kingston. Both men on top. And this is so dangerous. It is I've extremely. I've done TV features oh. of tops of these cages. Oh, looking me. down just scares the hell out of me. And that's oh, he's me. biting. Eddie's just biting the ear off here of, of Chris Jericho. Oh, the Huracan, the back fist, and Jericho goes down. Dangerous. Hard shot, Eddie got all of it. Who's that? Is it that Sammy, I believe. Sammy Barra. He's crawling up behind Kingston's back. Not sure if Kingston realizes yeah, it. I don't have a good feeling about this, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. I agree. Not a good feeling at all. No. This is dangerous. To... Oh, Eddie, don't do this. Oh, Eddie. Eddie yeah. can't hear it. The crowd's so loud here in the Little Caesars Arena. I'm kind of glad that Sammy stopped Eddie because Eddie is very unpredictable. You never know what he's going to do to a violent level. Remember. Last year in Blood and Guts, Jericho was thrown off the top of the cage. He dislocated his elbow. Yeah, sure, sure thing. And that was a, a massive save by Sammy for Chris on Eddie. And I'm just holding my breath. I've been in too many situations where an athlete got to the edge of the, the, the uh, cage. Yeah. We're flying. Yeah, he's made just history. I was there. Point. I was there that particular night as well, Mr. Ross. It's not, this is not something I want to see. And you yeah. see Kingston inside trying to survey. 1998. 1998. You almost feel it's kind of like this is the calm before the storm right now. And I think our massive audience, north of 13,000 people here in Detroit, feel the same way. This is. Remember, some of these men have been fighting for the better part of this hour. This has got to be fatigue unlike any other situation those men have ever been every in. drop of blood that you lose a bit more oxygen seeps out of your body your iron level starts to drop everything your potassium everything starts to go and these men are worn out well, regal to that point with potassium no. you cramp up that's exactly yes, what happens actually yes they yeah. haven't had a chance to rehydrate right no you know you're right water break. it's impossible there's no time out here there's no stoppage wait what the hell sammy sammy no yeah. sammy's gonna oh but kingston oh. Boy, that's going to piss off uh, oh, Eddie. Well, Eddie, well, Todd Conte, but now Eddie. <laughs> oh, bad intentions, violent intentions. Oh, Eddie, don't oh, do this, Eddie. Eddie, don't well, do it, no. Eddie, no! Oh, my God! Sammy Gomorrah crashing through the timekeeper's table on the sadistic flip on the face of Kingston. Our main event continues live on Dynamite from Hamilton, Ontario. Sammy Guevara and the Painmaker versus Darby Allen and Sting. Oh. Tornado Tag Team match. Darby coming off the top with the cutter. All throughout picture in picture, we've seen these four men battering, battling all over the arena, Tony. And I think we should mention that as they come back to the ring, Excalibur and Taz, a ladder that Sammy Guevara pulled out is still in the ring waiting. Take a look at this again. Yeah, the replay brought to you by Fight Forever. Available tomorrow for your favorite gaming platform. Sammy Guevara coming in. The big cutter, but Darby Allen to the whoa, whoa, top. Whoa, coffin drop on Sammy Guevara. I'm not so sure he got the worst of that. Darby kind of overshot that a little bit and hit his arm. All that momentum was in. Oh, whoa. Stinger splash on, on the pain maker. Sting. Sting is, Sting is unbelievable, isn't he? Just takes oh, he is. He's just, he's always been fearless and just. The things he does, the, the things he does. Darby Allen and Sting, both men pulling out a table. A pair of tables being set up at ringside. Sp spell pain for the pain maker, Taz. Yeah, you're not kidding, and that's what happens. You, when you sweep that leg, you break the leg. So I don't know if Darby wants to use that table. Because that table leg is broken, man. That's yeah. that's not going to hold any weight, but I don't know what the hell he's got in mind. they got two tables here. I, I think Sting remembers what happened at Forbidden Door when he was laying on the table. 
I think this may be a little payback, and Sammy may be. Oh, brother. Maybe that. I wanna, those, I wanna, those tables are a considerable <laughs> distance from the ring. I was going to say, it's a long way. That is a. Oh, God. Sting just wearing him out with a. Steel chair there, right yeah. in the back. Yeah, I'm telling you, this payback is for Sammy Guevara. Oh, Darby Allen. Oh, Lord. What are you going to do, look, Darby? Look at the distance. Sting is up. What, Sting, what the hell is Sting doing? Uh, what are you doing, Sting? Sting, what the oh, hell? Oh, no, come on now. No. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't believe it either, guys. He is out of his freaking mind. There's no way he's going to be He reach. is out of his freaking mind. It's too far away. Payback. The forbidden dog! Sting with a leap and he crushes Sammy Guevara! Oh, Aubrey checking in on everybody on that. Holy smokes! What did we just see? What did we just see? Sting, what? I just, let's take a look at this. The Stinger! What the hell are you doing, my man? Look at him! He's connected. Sting watching off the ladder. Oh, what? Oh. Darby throwing himself at Painmaker Jericho on the other side of the ring. Well, you can see the sense of urgency right now by Darby Allen. And remember, the finish has to take place in the ring, and maybe anything goes. Skateboard but Jones. Oh! You're not kidding. Well said, Giovanni. That might be it. Darby drops in, hooks the leg. One, two, and. A good kick out by Jericho, Painmaker, you know, whatever. I mean, it's just that was impressive to kick out on that. Oh, man, I, I don't know if we got anything left to Sandy. It's oh, or not. Great sidestep by Jericho, but by Painmaker is now the ladder being no. dropped off the Darby spine. Man. Hey, he's not done. He's going to do it again. Yeah, he's ruthless. Yes, he is. Oh. Darby just crushed by the ladder once again. The side in the face. This is even more wild than I think we even anticipated, Tony. Yeah, this is, you are right. And not only that, it's been a wild night, top to bottom. And Jericho's got, I'm sorry, Painmaker's got something <gasps> in mind for Sammy. Or make it for Darby. Oh. Sammy's still. Oh! Oh, God, he went face first. The pain maker going face first in that ladder, propped up in the corner. Oh. And Darby Allen. Now, what's Darby thinking? He's spying Sting on the outside. Darby could have a chance to end this if he goes after Jericho. But instead, Darby accelerates. Oh, he's got the oh. chain. Oh. The, the coffin splash. Pain maker counters. And Judas effect! Oh, oh it knocked him out of the ring. Uh, it saved Darby there, I think. You're right. Darby's momentum carried him out of the ring. And yeah, the finish must take place inside the ring. My God, from the dead. Look at this. Rising behind Jericho. It's Steve! The icon! The reversal! Oh, no! Jericho uh -oh. is uh -oh. Uh -oh. the walls! The walls locked in on Sting! Oh my God, Jericho, can he tap out the icon? He's got his right hand on now, both hands up. Such a painful hold. I'm telling you from experience, Jericho has done it to me. It's ruthless, it's brutal. And Sting, he's crawling towards the corner. But remember, there's no disqualification. There's no rope breaks in this. None at all, he can keep it on as long as he wants. And the temper we saw, the anger of the pain maker. Oh, Sting, he wasn't crawling for the ropes at all. Sting with the bat, and all oh, the back to the head on Jericho to break the hold. Oh, man, crazy. Sting with the last ditch effort. And we are in overtime here. Yes, sir. That's Painmaker, oh, Painmaker, Jericho, he's bloodied. And the icon, oh. Sting, Stinger splash in the corner. He may do it again, look at him, really, backpedaling. Where is Sting getting this from? Oh, Jericho! Oh, code breaker! The cover! One, two, and no! Oh. Wow. 
Wow. This is this is absolutely nuts. Completely wild finish, Jericho. Judas effect, no, Sting avoids. He's got it, death drop. He's hit it, covering. He might get it, Sting One, might get it. He might get two, it. and no! Oh man, they just Tony, keep coming back. I don't think anybody's ever kicked out of Scorpion death drop never. before. I've never seen it, and I've been around forever. But Sting, back up to his feet, back on the assault. Jericho with the boot. Codebreaker attempted stand. Oh boy, that's a problem for Jericho. There he's got it. Turn it over. The Scorpion Deadlock is cinched in. And Jericho. Yes. To tap out. What a match. Here are your winners. Darby Allen and Steve. Got a lot to think about. You guys about. are loud here tonight. But it's a little bit bittersweet for me here. I appreciate that, but I'm saying that it's a little bit of a bittersweet night for me here because over the last few months, I've had a lot of big losses to my name, and things haven't gone exactly the way I wanted them to. So maybe it's time for me to reevaluate a few things and make a couple changes. And the reason why I'm saying this to you is because this is the perfect place for me to be reinvigorated, the province of Alberta. Because this is where I started my pro wrestling career. <laughs> Seems like only yesterday, just down the road, that I started my training in Calgary with Stu Hart. <laughs> You're seriously booing Stu Hart? They're staying St. But Stu. it was all across Alberta. I even had my first match just an hour from here in Pinoca, Alberta. So I got here a couple days early this week. I got in a car. I drove up and down the two highway. I drove past Balzac and Olds and Rimby and Drumheller. Balzac. And I remembered what it was like when I first started wrestling. The passion, the fire, when wrestling was everything to me. And it reminded me and made me remember that wrestling still is everything to me. So yeah, Alberta is the place where I now feel invigorated. I feel resurrected. It's time to become a better Chris Jericho. Maybe even become the best version of Chris Jericho ever. What? Oh no, that's just Don Callis. The human refuse, the man that he's a Canadian and he's hated. <laughs> he's yeah. hated everywhere, Taz. He's tremendous. Yeah, he really sucks. I know Don a lot of years. He's not that bad. Oh yeah, he is. Scotia suck. Love his music. Yeah, his face is orange. I should pitch you off, Taz. I think, Chris, what I'm hearing. I
I think what I'm hearing is that you need a change. And it was six years ago today. It was six years ago today, July the 5th, 2017, that I called you from a hotel in Tokyo. And I said, how would you like to main event the Tokyo Dome with Kenny Omega? And buddy, in our 34 years of friendship, you even surprised me because you said, oh yeah. And with that match, we changed the course of wrestling history. Without that match, none of these people are here. Without that match, I don't think Chris Jericho is here right now without my idea. Sorry, it was kind of hard for me to hear what you were saying with all these boos here tonight. But you know, Don, I could say the same thing about you because it was eight years ago in 2015 when you were in the middle of your very successful international business career, but I knew deep down inside you were miserable. You wanted to be back in the pro wrestling business. I helped you get back into the pro wrestling business. I helped you get into AEW, and now look at you. You're bigger and more powerful than you've ever been in pro wrestling. So if it wasn't for me, you might not even be here. The egos on these two, <laughs> I'm telling you. You know, Chris, <laughs> as with most things in our 34-year friendship, you and I are in agreement. I agree that when Don Callis and Chris Jericho get together, we make history. But as you know, I recently was betrayed by a coward punk named Kenny Omega. So I've had to build a new family because Kenny destroyed my family. And my new family is going to be based on trust. And when I think about trust, I think about the greatest of all time. When I think about trust, I think about the man who beat Kenny Omega right here in All Elite Wrestling. And when I think about trust, I think about my best friend of 34 years. I think about Chris Jericho. So if you're ready, if you're ready, Chris, to change history one more time, then I am here to formally ask you one question. Will you join the Don Callis family? You're seriously asking me to join the Don Callis family. You're asking me to join your faction? Chris Jericho doesn't join factions. Chris Jericho creates them. So if you're seriously asking me to join up with you, I've got one word answer for you. You want me to join your faction? My answer is... Maybe. Oh, wow. Maybe? Didn't expect that. No, not uh, at all. I, mean, I expect a big no. Jericho said he had to make a change, and that, this could be that change. He's a phenomenal athlete, is Guevara. And now Guevara! The elbow suicida takes on Jericho on the ramp side, and now going opposite side. Gavar the Tornillo over the top, lights out to Keshta. Sammy Gavar, that tag, such a huge difference maker. He's got the momentum now, guys. Momentum is all it, what it's all about right now for Gavara. You're right, Shivani. Momentum's heavy. Frog splash. You might get it. Big frog splash. And Jericho there to break it up. Wow, so close. Just enough to break up that pink cover. I think it might have ticked off Sammy more. 
but it's a good job by Jericho to break up the chance to win there. And as you can see, we've got a anything goes oh, match oh. coming up tonight. But Daniel Garcia, he just double legged Chris Jericho, now raining down right hands. But Guevara, oh. his attention was diverted. Takeshita comes back with the Blue Thunder bomb. That was a hard landing. And now Takeshita, he calls this the walls of Takeshita. The walls of Takeshita. He turns, he's and got yeah. the knee in the back of the head. The knee at the, the base of the neck as he is cranking on Sammy Guevara. Tag in right now by Jericho, he's legal. And Guevara though, Great the Spanish, Spanish fly, yep. two and no. Yeah, really good right there by Sam. Even though he didn't get the victory, it was enough to really rock Chris Jericho. Swing and a miss. Jericho now, he sweeps off the legs. Can he turn the corner on Guevara? No, Guevara inside cradle. Two and, oh, very close. Great counter, just reached up and almost got the pin, did Guevara. Both men, same idea. Close line for each. You got to assume whoever can get to their feet first could possibly have the advantage. We got two very, very good tag teams here, and great athletes together make a great tag team, as we're seeing right here. Yeah, this milestone evening of Dynamite 200. Off to a big start. Codebreaker intercepting Daniel Garcia. Jericho. He's got him. He's got him. The leg is hooked, and oh, no, Daniel Garcia kicking out. Great job by Garcia kicking out. I thought he had him. That was the opportunity right there, and you could see the face of Don Callis. He's slightly concerned. He should be. You hear this crowd wow. in support of Daniel Garcia. As Jericho laying in those heavy chops, as you mentioned, Taz. But Garcia comes back, the flying kick. Now the cover. And Takeshita there to break it up. Well, for the first time, Shabani, that... To catch and Jericho tagging together. They're doing a great job. They really are. And th that was an example of it right there, Taz, uh -oh. with that save. But Sammy Guevara on target with a thrust kick. To catch the spills to the outside. He's on spaghetti legs. Yeah. Oh, boy. And Sammy Guevara. This young man will take a lot of chances. High risk for sure. Shooting star. Rest of the floor. I think Guevara, his elbow might have caught to catch on the way down. But inside the ring, Judas effect, oh, no. Nicely blocked. It was blocked by Garcia. And no, Jericho able to kick out. That could have been the end of the match right there, but Garcia kept it going on with a block. Garcia looking for that. He's Sammy, looking for the Sammy, dragon Sammy slayer. stopped to catch her. Sammy stopped to catch her. And wait, Don Callis. He's got Floyd. He's got the back. Don Callis has grabbed the back. And Jericho. Jericho saw him do it. And the referee didn't, but Jericho did. Oh boy, Chris got a big decision here, doesn't he? This is uh a... It's kind of a crossroads for Chris Jericho, I think. And, and Jericho, he's covered Garcia! Well, he went for the win! Got a win! I don't blame him! Winners, a team of Kanosuke Takeshita and the Ocho Chris! Jericho. Not, 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 not only did Chris Jericho choose the win, he chose the Don Callis family over the Jericho Appreciation Society family. I think this is a big moment in Chris Jericho's career in AEW, and I think we're watching it right now. It's a good one, guys. Come to the ring without me and don't even tell me, and, and that's fine. But I, I understand there's some unrest here. That's why I wanted to come to the ring, not as Chris Jericho, the rock star, or Chris Jericho, the demo god. I came down here as your friend. Because I know we've had a lot of problems, and I know we've had- Hey, Chris, Chris, Chris. Oh. Would you please stop talking for one second and just listen to us? I thought I was ready to stand out here and have a civil conversation with you until I saw you for the first time since last week after I got hit in the head with a baseball bat and you took advantage of me and pinned me. And Chris, I just wanna let you know, I sacrificed so much for you. I changed who I am, the fabric of my human being for you. I've turned my back on my friends. I've turned my back on my heroes for you. I chose you every single time. So I don't get why you never choose us. <laughs> it 
And Chris, because you're not choosing me, I can't do this anymore, I. Right? Well, there's one wow. down. Wow, Daniel Garcia has oh, had God. enough of Chris Jericho. Man, that was quick, succinct. Hey, well, I, I respect Garcia's uh, opinion there. He's the one who got cracked with the bat. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I've known you longer than any of these guys. Chris, we've been all over the world together, stepping, not giving a damn where our feet land. That's why we work well together. It's true, you made me a lot of money. But if we have to cut ties tonight, that's okay. Because everyone knows we have a lot of options. Everyone knows that I liked that hat. Liked, past tense. Yes, I noticed. Now I want everyone to know that I do not appreciate Jericho. Wow, Hager too? Jake, Jake what are you doing? Jake! Okay, let's, let's just, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before this gets out of control, I mean, come on, you have to agree that your careers are much bigger and better since you joined me. I mean, come on. Anna and Ty, I mean, I'm so proud of all the things you've done. Anna, you've got a championship match tonight. You could be the AEW champion. Ty, you have become a bigger star than you ever would have if you weren't with me. I'm very proud of that fact. Honest, honestly, like, I used to be so proud to be in a group with you, Chris, but not no more. Right now, I feel sick. And I'm not even talking about the baby. It seems like you cannot make a decision, so I will. You know what? I will go have this baby. Come back next year to be a champion without you or your damn help because I quit. Wow. You know what, Chris? Maybe you have helped us all out a little bit, but you've helped yourself out more than any one of us here. Tonight is about me. I am being selfish tonight. And I have learned from the best. Tonight is about winning the AEW Women's World Championship. And it's not about appreciating you. Hi, Melo. Okay, Aaron. okay, hey. let's, let's settle down a, a little bit. Look, wait, I see the, the sad puppy dog looking at it. <sighs> Chris, here's the thing. I, I can't speak for anybody else. I can only speak for myself. I don't want to be doing this right now. I love being a sports entertainer. I love coming out here and asking these people it's cool hand having one hell of a hair day. Chris, when you asked me to join the JAS, I took that as a badge of honor and I've done everything I could to make you proud of me. I've given you everything I could. I've given you my identity. I've given you my trust. Hell, Chris, I gave you my blood when I hang upside down from a double cage almost bleeding out to fight a battle that you picked. I've stood by your side and fought every battle with you with pride. I've given you everything I can. But, Chris, what have you given me? Chris, I don't want to do this, but you've given me no choice. I got nothing left to give you, man. The Jericho Appreciation Society just unraveling before our eyes. I, I never thought that Cool Hand would do that. You got to assume Daddy Match is going to fall right behind him. Great tag team. Uh, man, this is... This guy right here! was my childhood hero. When I was 15 years old, 
with my first paycheck from my first job, I bought a Chris Jericho t-shirt. When my wife was eight months pregnant and I had no job, this guy heard my story. He invited me into his home. He helped bring me to AEW and you took me under your wing. The last 18 months have been nothing but a dream for me. But it's never sat right with me. Why guys that I came up with, guys like Eddie Kingston, guys like Kevin Steen, why they hate your guts. And now I'm starting to understand why. Wow, that was stiff. And the last man standing, the first man that Chris Jericho associated with in AEW, Sammy Guevara. All right, Sammy. You know the fly in the ointment here is, is Don Callis. Oh my God. Oh. I need you to listen for once. I have always had your back since the very beginning. Even when everyone around me told me I shouldn't, I always did. I went from challenging for the world title to fighting another one of your battles. I'm putting Sting through a table, not because I want to, but because of you. Because I'm loyal. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna walk out on you, man. Because you're my friend. And I did all these things because deep down, I always thought you would do those for me. But maybe, Maybe I was wrong. Seems like you have a lot of stuff to work out, man. And I hope you do, and if you do, maybe I'll be here. Well, there you go. Well, Guevara's a stand-up guy, I mean, right? How's he a stand-up guy? He said, I'm he's walking out on the guy to give him a big break. He said, maybe if you change your mind, I'll be here for you. Well, fans, we have more dynamite wow. to come tonight. The Hardys versus the Young Bucks next, live from Columbus on TBS. I mean, I think most of that he hasn't even begun to achieve the heights that he will throughout his career, Taz. Oh, you're right. Well, well look at this. Hold on a minute. Sammy was trying to just get the audience here to show respect for Jericho. And Jericho just pushing Sammy away. And Jericho, he started out this year on the wrong foot. Losing efforts, three consecutive losing efforts in singles matches, and now again, dropping a match to Will Ospreay on the biggest stage in AEW history, perhaps the biggest stage in pro wrestling history. And Jericho, he's, he thought he had to turn a page. He's gonna try to join the Don Callis family. That was denied him, and victory here denied Jericho tonight in London. And all no doubt about it to the point, everything that happened, has had has evolved that we've witnessed on Dynamite with the JAS and Jericho and blah 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 and all that man it's a lot going on in the world for Jericho. You see a confu confused, a dejected Sammy Gavar. Right now Chris Jericho about to address the fans assembled here and now arena just outside of Chicago as we begin a week of action here in Chicago all culminating with All Out Live on pay-per-view this Sunday from Chicago's United Center. Well, thank you, Chicago. And we should be happy and festive after only a few days ago enjoying the spectacle and the majesty that was AEW all in at Wembley Stadium. One of the greatest weekends of my professional career, Fozzie had our biggest headlining show on Friday, and then on Sunday, the biggest wrestling show ever. Over 81,000 tickets sold, and that number is shoot, baby. 
and having a match against Will Ospreay, that's one of my favorites. Overall, it was a show that I will never forget. But there's something I would like to forget, and that's how I treated my brother, Sammy Guevara, after the match. There's something I want to say to him to get off my chest, so Sammy, if you're back there, please come out now so I can talk to you in front of everybody here. See, I'm glad to see this. I mean, Sammy Guevara, the only member of the Jericho Appreciation Society that hasn't walked away from Chris Jericho. But could what Chris did at All in London, could, I mean, could that have just broken, fra completely fractured their relationship? I mean, it could be. You can see Sammy's face. I mean, he just, he's not exactly ecstatic to come out here and speak to Chris. I mean, not just assuming that, looking at his demeanor. Sammy Guevara, he said he'd always be by Chris Jericho's side. He has been since day one, dynamite. Going back nearly four years. It was in the heat of the moment. I mean, just to defend Jericho for a second. It wasn't the heat. At the end of the thing, he lost the match, Chris. You know, it's tough. Emotional. So, Sammy, um, listen, like I said, I I'm not happy with how. I agree, Sammy Guevara, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I listen. I know. I know. I pushed you after my match. I was frustrated after losing to Will Ospreay. I never should have done that. I never should have taken it out on you. You've been with me from the start. You've always had my back, and, and you've been my brother. I just was frustrated, man. I, I didn't know if you had done everything on your end to, to help me win this match. But watching it back, I saw, as you can see right here on, on the Tron right here on the screen, I saw what you did with the bat. I saw lit right here. I had Osprey in the walls of Jericho, you know, you did nail him right the way that, that you know, that's what we do. I mean, we, we all lie, cheat, and steal here. And you did that, and I just want to apologize to you for, 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 for not thinking that you did everything that you should have done, and I should never have pushed you, and I apologize for that right here in front of everybody watching. What a gentleman. Jericho's always been a gentleman in my book. Always. Well, not always, but he's being one right here. I don't want to disagree with you, Taz, but you just did. Won't be the last okay, time. It's fine. Won't be the last time. That's nice to see these friends shake hands. I told you, Chris, I always have your back, and a little push isn't going to break us up, man. There you go, Sammy. Thanks, man. I, I feel so much better now. I really do. I, I, I still <laughs> replaying the Will Ospreay match over and over in my head and thinking, what could I have done to win that match? Maybe I should have zigged instead of zagging, and maybe I should have rolled him up and held him tighter and pulled his tights, and or, you know, maybe you could have hit him harder with the baseball bat, or maybe I could have whoa, done that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chris, can you say that last part one more time? I, I should have rolled him up and pulled the No, 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 not, not that part. The other part. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe you could have hit him a little bit harder with the bat? <laughs> yeah, that one. So it's funny, because when I was watching it... <laughs> when I was watching it, Chris, I thought in my head, maybe, maybe if you hit him a little harder with the Judas effect, then you could have got it done. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, 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 listen. I, I don't want you to get insulted or angry. I was just saying that, I mean, sometimes when I ask you to do something, it doesn't turn out the way that I envision it. That's all. Envisioned it. Okay, I mean, how did you envision it? Was it me leaving my pregnant wife in Orlando, flying to London to have your back? 
Well, no, I envision you leaving your pregnant wife in Orlando, flying to London, and being a part of the show, the biggest wrestling show in history, in front of over 81,000 fans, something that the people that didn't make it out to London from the AEW locker room would have killed for. I mean, I agree. There's a lot of guys back there, Chris, that, that would have loved to have been on that show. And Sunday, it had me thinking, maybe if I wasn't so worried about having your back, then maybe I could have wrestled on it. Okay, yeah. And maybe if you continue to follow my advice and do what I tell you to do, that maybe next year you will wrestle on that show in Wembley Stadium. I like the sound of that. And I'll make sure that I follow all your advice and learn how not to lose on the biggest show we've ever done. It's getting a little chippy between Guevara and Jericho. Okay. And maybe if you follow my advice, you won't lose the next time you have a championship match for the AEW title versus MJF like you did. I think it's getting interesting, actually. You know, it's funny, Mr. AEW, because four years ago, you became AEW champion right here in Chicago. In this very arena. That's right. That's right. And then what happened 24 hours later, you lost that very championship outside a steakhouse. Right in Jacksonville, Florida. That's some champion. Right, Mr. Ocho? Uh. It's a very tense moment between two men who seemed inseparable. Hold on. Okay, just hold on. This is getting out of control. Let's not say something that we're gonna regret later, okay? Listen, this is you and me here, Sammy. Jericho and Guevara, we've been together since day one here in AEW from the very first episode of Dynamite, okay? So let's get back to what we do best. Let's, let's get back to being together, having each other's back, not throwing barbs at each other. Let's reunite the sex gods. And let's go after what we have rightfully earned, a chance to become the AEW Tag Team Champions. Next week, let's start that road. The Sex Gods on Dynamite next week on our way to becoming the Tag Team Champs. What do you say? Dynamite live in Indianapolis one week from tonight. Will it be Jericho and Guevara in tag team action? Yes, sir. There you go. Certainly seems like it. You can boo all you want. New tag team champions coming right here, the Sex Gods. Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara with FTR in the AEW World Tag Team Championship in their sights. Tony, <laughs> oddly happy about this. I'm very happy about this. I think they make a hell of a team. Great move by Guevara. Hate to say it. The open. Les Sex Gods battling it out. Tag team action live on Diamond. Sammy Guevara desperately needs the tag. But Mark Davis and Kyle Fletcher doing everything they can to prevent it. But Sammy doing everything he can to get Jericho into this match. Oh, boy. Oh, man, what a shot right there by Chris. Smart move by Chris to duck one and catch the other one. They need to cut the momentum of Jericho here fast. As yeah. Davis will watch it. Sends Jericho over the top, and Jericho hung on. Wow. She did. And now Chris mm. Jericho with the climb, the axe handle. No, uh -oh. right into the grip of Mark Davis. Now Fletcher and Davis. Oh, great. Back of the head, great. Just stereo form smashes. Catch Jericho on the ears. You can see Jericho stunned by that. Jericho just jumped right into that choke. Watch Sammy, though. Watch Sammy. And Sammy. Oh, my God. With the cutter, but Fletcher. He still smashed Jericho. That's that athleticism of Guevara that I mentioned before, guys. And Kyle Fletcher with Mark Davis sent to the outside by that cutter. Now face Jericho one-on-one. -on -one, and Jericho comes out of the code breaker. That might be it. Yeah, that's got to do it. The cover. Uh, two, two. And no! Oh. Fletcher 
still alive. Good job by Fletcher on that kick out because Chris had him dead to rights. That is why Aussie Open, one of the most highly regarded tag teams from around the world in the last 18 months. Oh. Shot to the chest by Jericho. Reversal. Breaks put on by Jericho. As Fletcher finds his footing as Jericho, there's the drop kick and fans up next. We will hear from the EW World Champion MJF live in the ring on Dynamite. But right now, Jericho sending Fletcher to the outside. Sammy Guevara perhaps about to send himself to the outside. As Sammy over the top, the tornado. And twisting, flipping, and still landing perfectly. Perfectly done right there by Sammy. And Chris Jericho. This crowd here in Indianapolis fired up. They want to see Jericho head to the outside. Chris Jericho. Oh! Really oh, fired there between Guevara and Jericho. Jericho showboating, waiting a second too long, hit his own man. No, I think they was, they was pulled out of the way. No, I think yeah. it's narcissist behavior is what oh, you're seeing. Come on. It's all about him. And all he has been. The big collider. Oh, 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 here it comes, here it comes. Making the dash around the ring, sandwiching Jericho and Guevara together. That'll it's rock, over. That'll rock your spine, and it might be over. This is it, guys, I'm telling you. They're going for it here, Excalibur. Tag made. Davis is legal there. Roundhouse kick. Now Davis with Jericho up the Aussie arrow. There it is, Davis with the cover. Both legs hooked in. Jericho oh, barely. Man. Excellent instincts. Instincts of a champion right there. That's what Jericho just exemplified on that late kick out. But Aussie Open, they need to remain composed. They are in there with two world-class talents in Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara. Double hammer throw into the corner. Jericho sent across the ring. Aussie Open with Jericho on their side. Sammy comes in. One man Spanish fly by Sammy. Hurt his ribs. Yeah, he sure did, but that was well done by Sammy. Oh, Fletcher running into the outstretched boot of Jericho. Fletcher comes underneath. Jericho sweeps out the legs. No, 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 no. Can he turn the corner on the walls? He Oh, wow. No, great leg strength by Fletcher Taz. Yeah, impressive quickness and leg strength. Oh, look at that kick. Great extension on that super kick. And he is so rangy. Oh. Using those long legs, that length. Fletcher. Sheer. Yeah. Brain buster on Jericho. The ladder of press. Jericho. Again, just barely able to escape. Chris Jericho is showing us a lot here tonight, guys. He of really course, is. Of course he is, because his ego has been damaged. Here's this brain buster. Definitely being put to the test is Chris Jericho. Fans loving the action tonight on Dynamite. Chris Jericho, not so much as he has been getting battered by Aussie Open for the last few minutes, but Jericho counters. And oh, Sammy! Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Fletcher! No! This kid needs to remember who he's in there with. Oh, shoot it! So oh, no. Oh, That's no, got no, it going. No, no, no. He's not remembering anything. Two, three. After that, you're not remembering nothing. Here are your winners. Blair Siska. Phenomenal timing right there by Jericho with that Judas effect. Man, that was close. And that little mishap right there between Sammy and Jericho was a little concerned. If it weren't for the timing, of Jericho to land that Judas effect. That may have been it. That may have opened the door for Aussie Open to score the win. Sammy. All Jericho oh, cares oh, about God. is that he won. There's a few incidents of friendly fire in this match, and Sammy. Yeah, but that'll happen in the course of a battle, guys. You all know this. Come on. I mean, Sammy's been by Chris Jericho's side ever since the first Dynamite, October 2019, and now... Right, Our are going up, and these guys just got done wrestling a tag match, so your adrenaline's already flowing. Now the EW's gonna arrest both of them. In the ring to do what? Arrest, arrest them. them. Arrest them for what? Fuck, this is ridiculous. I mean, it's the It's the pro wrestling business. You arrest them? Sammy walking out as 
pair of egomaniacs, that's what happens. Right there. Security detail, and right now Sammy really walking out. What are you saying? Next week, right here on Dynamite at Grand Slam in New York City, for the first time ever, it's the Sex Gods going one on one, Jericho versus Guevara, for the first time ever, like I said. <laughs> Lots of history behind this match. Sammy and I have been together for four years since the very first episode of Dynamite. We've been together through highs and lows, ups and downs and ups again. As a matter of fact, we wanted to remind you about some of the great memories and great times we've had over those years. Let's check out the package that we put together for you guys here tonight. Right here in Cincinnati. Chris Jericho is like a father figure to me. We're not just best friends. Keep dreaming bigger dreams. We're brothers. We're blood brothers. We'll be the darkness. We'll do forget. You look like a little baby in those early years, man. Uh, Chris, I have a confession. But, but, but. I still don't know the lyrics to Judas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll still learn. I'm still learning. You weren't in key either, so don't worry about it. October 21st, 2018, I was watching the NWA 70th anniversary pay-per-view. And on one of the prelim matches, I saw a kid called Sammy Guevara. And I was completely blown away to the point I called Tony Khan right then and there and said, we need to sign this kid. I was blown away by his athleticism, by his creativity, by the way he looked, by the way he carried himself. I wasn't blown away by the giant panda that you wore in your head back then. But I knew that he had what it took to be a big star, and I wanted him with me to help him out as much as I possibly could. Heartfelt words from Jericho. And over the years, I've watched Sammy grow from a boy into a man. Seriously, I've seen him mature. I've seen you win titles. I've seen you get married, and now you're ready to give birth to the very, ba very baby duck girl of your own. Technically, it's time now. It's going to birth. Your wife is ready to give birth. But I just want to say, listen, man, I'm really proud of you and everything you've accomplished over the last four years. I'm serious. That's really cool of Chris. Thank you, Chris. Uh, I know the, the typical wrestling thing is to come out here and talk some trash about your brother, but I don't want to do that. You're my friend, and... Truthfully, you inspire me. When I was a kid, I used to do code breakers in my mom's backyard. And so I wanted to come out here before one of the biggest matches of my life and say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for changing my life. Thank you for changing so many people back there's life. Because without Chris Jericho, there is no AEW.
but, but truthfully, Chris, I didn't come to this company to just be Chris Jericho's sidekick. I got into professional wrestling to be the man, to be world champion. I want this place to look at me the way they look at Mox, the way they look at Danielson, the way they look at you. But I know, I know in my heart that's never gonna happen as long as I'm in your shadow. So that's why I need to beat you next week. It's true, everything you said is true, but let me get let me one thing straight, Sammy. You were never brought into AEW to be Chris Jericho's sidekick, okay? You were brought here to become a main event player, a money-making draw for AEW, and you are getting closer and closer every single week. And that's why I told you months ago, I told you and Danny Garcia too, if you want to get to the next level, you got to do it outside of Chris Jericho's influence. You have to do it on your own. And next week, you have the biggest opportunity to do that. You're right. It's one of the biggest matches of your career. It's one of the biggest matches of my career. And you have to beat me to get to the next level. But if you're going to beat Chris Jericho, you're going to have to be the best Sammy Guevara that you've ever been. You're going to have to be better than you've ever been before if you have a chance to beat me. But I don't think you're ready to beat me yet. And there it is. That's why I need to beat you next week because you don't truly respect me like I respect you. It's whatever Jericho wants. That's what it's been like for four years. So you know what, Chris? Next week, I'm gonna beat you as this man, not, not the 2018 me at NWA 70, not the Sammy Guevara with the panda head, the man Sammy Guevara standing in front of you right now is gonna beat you. And I'm gonna earn your respect and then we're gonna shake hands, we're gonna hug, and we're gonna win some tag team titles. Ooh. Jericho trying to get into Sammy's head ahead of Dynamite Grand Slam one week from tonight. Actually, I think he's already in his head. Let me make something perfectly clear, Sammy. Next week, I'm going to give you the match of your life. And I'm not going to go easy on you. I'm going to beat the living hell out of you. I'm going to punch you harder than I've ever punched anybody in my life. And I expect the exact same thing from you. I wouldn't want it any other way.